The Echo Hotel and Suites in Victoria Island, Lagos, played host to the launch of a $100 million data center in Lagos from Africa Data Centers. Ladies and gentlemen, presented Africa Data Centers, Nigeria. Dubbed the LOS-1 facility, the technology infrastructure will be housed at the Echo Atlantic Coastal City in Victoria Island. Dignitaries from the public and private sector were treated to a night of entertainment from cultural dancers, drummers, and a rousing rendition of Nigeria's national anthem. A presentation for the evening was delivered by Liquid Intelligent Technology CEO Wale Abu. Remarks were also made by Stefan Dupraz, Group Chief Executive Officer of the Africa Data Centers, and Hardy Pemhiwa, President and CEO at Cassava Technologies. The relationship between the three companies came about from Pan-African telecommunications giant Econet Group, which launched Cassava Technologies. Cassava Technologies will serve as parent company to a number of Econet brands, including Liquid Intelligent Technologies and Africa Data Centers. The evening also saw remarks from David Frame, Managing Director of South Energy X Nigeria Limited, which are developers and city planners behind Echo Atlantic. We have an extensive network of docks which provide IT services fiber optic cables. Obviously that is of great interest to Africa Data Center. And we're proud to have within the city the ability to not only provide ADC with a dedicated line of fiber optic cable, but as they requested, a completely separate independent supply of fiber optic cable so it is an insurance against any problem or temporary breakage. Arise News spoke to both Stefan Dupraz of Africa Data Centers and Wale Abu of Liquid Intelligent Technologies about what the launch means for the companies involved and the impact on the Nigerian economy. Key milestone, I mean you may remember that a few weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, uh, I was with you and I announced that Africa Data Center was actually launching a, a 10 megawatt, $100 million uh, data center here in, on Victoria Island, Lagos. And the key milestone is that we are launching tonight the first phase of that uh, here on uh, Victoria Island, uh, Eco Atlantic City. And uh, you know, we are gathering uh, here tonight uh, you know, really captain of the industries uh, of, of Nigeria, all the people who, who are together with us, you know, participating in creating that digital strength that Nigeria has and that our infrastructure will liberate. We've been working on this for a couple of years now in terms of trying to bridge the digital divide between the first world and I would say the developing economies we are fighting hard in this part of the world to make sure that Sub-Saharan Africa and in fact Nigeria have the adequate digital infrastructure to power the industry and the enterprises and entrepreneurs and businesses here that need to tap into the uh, global market. As you can see from the last couple of months, COVID has kind of now accelerated the need for digital transformation that has been happening slowly. But you know, when COVID came and we were all shut down, it became, you know, something that every single person now realized 
that it was important. Two, three years ago, if you had said people could have digital meetings, they would probably argue. They thought everything had to be in person. And the heart of digital life sits in the data center. When you talk about the internet, or you are going to Facebook, or you are doing Google, you are searching, you are trying to launch your service, you have to sit somewhere. That data, that content, that information has to sit somewhere. And it sits in the data center. An evening to remember in Lagos City, as yet another African technology company makes a promising start in Africa's largest economy. For Arise News, Rodis Odiri.